Welcome back, we are ready to begin Operation Mountain Queen. Now I did decide to bring along Chili, and we actually discovered something pretty awesome, and that is the fact that he has the running gun ability from the AWC. So that means he's gonna be awesome. I have him built towards having a lot of mobility, so that way he can kinda, cause the main purpose of a PSYOP soldier is to run up and then do a bunch of psychic shit, right? So I wanna be able to move him as far as possible, and having running gun, as an available maneuver might be awesome, especially if you can actually use psychic abilities after it, which I'm gonna test like immediately. So he's replacing Spitfire, he's gonna be in our main squad. He is part of the A team now. He still has two abilities. He needs to trade up from the uh, the psychic, the psyops or whatever, <laughs> but we're fine. He's good. He's got all the major abilities. If we look at his abilities again, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, here we go. If we look at his abilities, he has Null Lance, Void Rift, Domination, and he has his Insanity buff as well, so we're good. We're good. I think he's gonna be a really key player. Now, I did give him the Little Thulu, which is smart. He's a saw rifle. Oh, well, saw rifle. Smart is not on this mission, so we might as well give it to him. Sky Ranger, but I don't think we're gonna be firing our gun all too many times. He has psychic abilities, after all. A team of resistance scouts located an exposed access point in this area tied directly into the advent network. We lost contact with the squad shortly thereafter, but not before they sent a data fragment tied to the aliens' latest operation. We're moving to recover the data, but we'll have to work fast to hack the network before advent shuts down the connection. Be prepared to neutralize all hostile contacts and secure the area. Recovering that data is our only shot at stopping their progress. Menace 1-5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Mm, okay, so we're on a slums district map, which means there's gonna be a lot of confined quarters. Uh, we saw two enemy health bars pop up. I saw a group over here and I saw a group over here. Hopefully we can get eyes on just by moving That's up, which it looks like we did because of the fact that we can't do much. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So, we have to decide whether or not we want to engage with the groups now? Or later. It's probably a good idea to just engage them in the next turn, so that way I can get everybody uh, prepared. Now, one thing I want to check out, this might seem really irresponsible, but I want to see if running gun- oh my god, look how far I can go! Holy sh- <laughs> I can go so far, I can go all the way in the middle of the street. And with running gun, I can do amazing things. But we're gonna... I wanna test something. I wanna see if running gun... will allow me to use my other abilities, because that could be huge for, for later on. Huge! Let's do this. Oh, ho, 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 my lord! We got the most ridiculous thing or one of the most ridiculous things you could get for a Psychic Soldier. The ability to do a yellow move, to dash super far up, and yet still annihilate forces. Oh, that is wonderful. I'm even tempted to, like, engage with the enemies. But I can be patient. Now. I just wanted to test. I wanted to find out if that was going to allow us to do it. In XCOM Enemy Unknown slash Enemy Within, Run and Gun only allowed you to do some actions. So it's interesting to see that change up pretty hardcore here. Uh, we're going to run down to the streets with Archie. And then keep the most of now. our people on the rooftop. Where can I go with Viviana? <laughs> Shut up. Big cost. <laughs> or big shot. Uh, I can grapple hook like two feet! Wouldn't that be awesome? No. No, Viviana. It wouldn't be. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Alright, so how big is my command range? I got this entire rooftop ready to like annihilate with damage. Okay. Let me turn that off. We are gonna we're gonna just chill. We're gonna hold on. 
Because I would like it if both groups were out on the streets before I fired on them. Moon to Overwatch. Come on, get into the streets. You punks. I just wanted to be able to face off everybody. Uh oh. That's not good. Why the hell are the chrysalids chilling on the rooftop? Why'd the guy go in the street by himself? You little bastard. Alright, I see how it is. Um... I could use Dominate on this Archon. Do I want an Archon under my control? Full health, Archon, 24. Hmm... Yeah, why not? Why not? It's a permanent control, it's a free extra unit, it can smack people in the face, or it can blow them up. Although I'm not a big fan of that one. I don't even know what enemies are on this mission. I didn't fully check, I just know there's a Sectobot, because, well, we just heard one. So we're probably not going to do the Dominate, since I could just do a face-off and get free shots at everybody. Or, I can incendiary bomb. And pretty- yeah, okay. We're going to do face-off. However, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. I'm gonna use Fanfire on... The Beastmaster? Oh, isn't that an interesting name? Anyways, we're gonna use Fanfire on the Beastmaster. That's how we're gonna start this off. And then, depending on where these other two go... Target neutralized. We might still be able to get a face-off shot. Mm. Okay, they actually moved to the perfect position! Directly underneath us! I don't know if we can see that place. Let's see. Face off. Oh, I can still see them. What the hell does a hunter killer do anyways? Let's find out. A uh, hunter killer... I don't know what the difference is. They still have 13 health and one armor. So, I don't know. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I will probably, it would be a good idea, if I did a Void Rift, I could affect two people. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dominate the Archon. <gasps> I could dominate the Shield Lancer. Oh, and then I could apply those shields to my teammates. I like that, I like that. Grant a bonus action immediately to a nearby squad mate. Let me... Do that. I don't know. I wonder if a bonus action is just movement, or if I could use that for shooting as well. Because that would be awesome. Let me. Uh, I can only apply it to the colonel. Or rather, I can only apply it to the people I have visual sights on. Which would be the people right in front of us. Do I want to bother? It'd be nice. But probably not. Yeah, we don't need to inspire. We'll just dominate. I'm just trying I'm trying to be considerate because using an inspire could be super helpful. Now, is the elite heavy lancer or heavy guy for sure not shield bear? I don't think it's shield bear. We're going for the guy who for sure has the word shield we in his are name. Oh, that's awkward. We pissed off a different group. Okay. How am I gonna handle that group? Oh shit. I just wanted to take control of him so I could have a shield bearer, man. So that I could go to my entire group and just have extra uh, the extra ability to take damage. But apparently that's not happening. Ugh. They're gonna flank shot the shit out of him. Well. What do we got? If I lightning hands and get a free shot off, we're gonna use that on this guy in the back. I know I should shoot the Archon, but we have other people for that. Yes, perfect. If we can land the next shot, he'll die. Now, do I want to maneuver over here? I'd be able to see the other group. No, I wouldn't be able to. <gasps> but I could squad sight them. Ooh, now that 
is an interesting proposition. Can I see them from here, actually? Let's see. I can see two of them from this position. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna grab grapple up. hook. And we're gonna hope that it doesn't bring us in front of a sectopod. We're good to go. And so I should be able to hit every single person. <laughs> so if I combine that, if I combine that with my blaster launcher, which should be able to reach all the way over there, oh, we're about to get a bunch of kills all in a row. Okay, let me let me give an aid protocol to our good friend, the Shield Lancer, just in case, just in case someone survives and wants to shoot him in the back. I'm being efficient. And then we blast bomb these guys without doing too much damage to the environment, hopefully. I don't want to open up a wall and then- Oh god, Sectopod! Right behind ya! Did I just hear a codex? <laughs> it feels like I just heard a codex. Did I kill those guys? Huh. Oh, ain't that something? I was gonna use cereal and I was gonna finish annihilating that entire group, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right. Now, if I I want to keep my my rangers as cloaked up as possible so I can get some vision. So I'm gonna rapid fire the Archon ninety-seven. Oh, that, that that dodge chance makes me sad. Hmm. Unfortunately, we only have one grenade at the moment. Let me see what kind of damage we'll get with this face off. Because I could just finish everybody off with big casa. Ah, of course, we missed that one. Ooh. Aim. Look at that. Alright, so what are their chances to dodge? He doesn't tell me, but I fucking know they can do it. So I don't trust that. We are gonna rapid fire the Archon. That's just, it's a good choice. Saying nothing, I'm not gonna jinx myself. Okay, good. Whew. I almost said, unless he gets a dodge. <laughs> but he didn't get a dodge, so we're happy. Uh, I really, I wanna go over there in the streets, but I need to do a little bit of extra damage. Who can fire one more time? Conrad. Now this guy's pretty screwed, I'm not worried about him. Uh, I just want to make sure that we do damage to this chrysalid right here, because he has a pretty high amount of health. And if he dodges, I wouldn't be happy with it. I can handle that. Alright, let's see what kind of damage I can do. 95%? This could also just straight up kill him. Ah, nah. Oh, there's the dodge, right? There's the dodge. All right, it is time for us to use cereal. What else you got? We're gonna blast the 100% so that can't dodge. Actually, with that said, 100% can't dodge anymore, anyways. Oh, yeah, you're just screwed then. But it was still a good thing for me to take out uh, his health. Because 8 health plus 1 armor, we wouldn't have done enough damage if we did only 8. How many is that now? See, yeah, 7. Ooh. <laughs> that would have been bad. So I feel like there's still enemies left alive. I just can't we'll see the them. Because things have been adjusted. So I'm going to kill this guy. 
And then I'm gonna run up. You can't handle me. Oh wait, that fucking Seriously? The Archon's still alive? Oh, that's disappointing. Fine! Then I'm going to shoot it. I am going to shoot it in its face. How dare you? How dare you, friend? Let's do this! They've got eyes on me. That is so sad. He's like just barely out of vision. I think it's because this is blocking it. Tired of waiting around. All right. So we managed to finish that turn and still have Archie concealed, which will allow me to run up to this area and maybe see if there's any other survivors. Yeah, there you go. You smell that. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so we did kill one of the troopers with that blaster launcher. Oh, uh, that's great. And we're good! Do that now? And we're done! Ah, <laughs> uh, cereal is amazing. Oh my god. And it could be the breakfast Back treat, or it could just be, you know, firing my gun constantly. We're gonna overwatch. I'm on it. And then we need to bring everybody close together so I can get this shield going on for us. <laughs> he can still do his stun lance. Oh, that's so ridiculous. Okay. Now, we don't know where the enemy sectopod is. That is how come I definitely wanted to keep one of my guys... On one of my rangers concealed. Commander, we have confirmation of the exposed access point. So I can keep on running everybody around. It looks like the sectopod's gonna be on the other side of the building because we, we were able to see the majority of the inside over here and we can see the streets over here. So yeah, sectopod's probably on this side. We're gonna... We're gonna run everybody up. With my sniper being last. Step it off! Now this is a really, Running. uh... It's a really rash decision. You should never double dash. But we just killed three pods, so I'm feeling pretty content. We're gonna run up to here. Look how far I can go. This is ridiculous. Straight down the street. It's a marathon, man. But I don't want to go too far. I don't want to go too far. Moving out. Because I don't want to like be here and then oh god, the sectopod sees chill through the window. And nobody's ready to handle that. Um... I'm tempted... I want to get over to this rooftop over here because I know there's gonna be more enemies on this side. But we're gonna have to... we're gonna have to wait. I'm also gonna want to... I want to get shields on everybody first. So Let's that's what I'm doing on. right now. Everybody except for Archie is getting a shield in this next turn. Stepping off! And that's fine, because Archie is super cloaked up. Moving out. Okay. Now, how big is the shield radius? We don't even know yet. We'll find out soon. On Overwatch. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Oops, did I leave someone behind? Oh, I left gone behind. Whoops, my bad. Alright, so if I did a shield... Oh, it shows the radius right there. Okay. That's a pretty wide radius. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity to run up. Rolling out. We didn't hear any movement. So I'm going to maneuver myself. Move into designated position. And keep on trying to find where the fuck the enemy is. And then obviously we need to get the objective hacked sometime soon. Uh, is there a blue position I can go that will spot it? No. But I can hack it from over here. Okay, Conrad, Conrad. Conrad, actually, he can blue move it right now. Whatever you say. I am gonna hold off first, because I don't wanna like send it in, piss off an enemy, and then have everybody be out in the middle of the street. Double time. Copy that. 
So I was gonna originally send Big Shot probably over to this other rooftop, but what I'm probably gonna do is... I'm gonna keep her around this corner. Or put her on the rooftop over there. Move! 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 So that way she can still get her shields. She can still get her shields. But she's just not gonna have a slight, slight boost with the shield, or with the height advantage. Which I'm fine with. Oop, almost forgot to move Tom. Go, go, There's go. always one extra person chilling out of the back like, What about me, Commander? Affirmative. Coming on. Some. Quiet. Do you hear something? Overwatch. Woohoo! Oh, shit. Well, I did hear a codex. I wasn't crazy. Not good. This is the opposite corner that I thought it was, the enemies were going to come from. Ugh. All right, we have three codexes. Oh, that's dirty! What the fuck is going on here? Why is there a giant swirling vortex when the game just said there's reinforcements incoming? What's going on? Oh no. Is that a better advent thing? Did he make it so like... Certain kinds of soldiers can show up because uh... Don't want that! No sir! Now is an energy shield an ending turn thing? Yes it is. Fine. Fine. Okay, so we need to kill these guys as fast as possible. Uh, that means I need to bring everybody who can rapid fire up to the forefront. Uh, good news is Viviana has that down on lockdown. Or I can do a dead eye. Uh, rapid fire probably would be a better idea. I don't like the 66% odd. With that said, there's a chance that if I rapid fire, it'll miss the second shot. Oh well, life is full of risks. It misses the first shot. Okay. Ooh, but we crit it down for 13. Wow. Who's keeping score? That was a 4% chance to have or for to happen. That's impressive. Okay. Well, I am probably... Uh, I need to double rapid fire the Andromedon down. Now, I could... Just shoot at it with... Tom. Oh, then we have that other fucking codex. Damn codexes! Damn them! We don't want them alive. We do not want them alive. Because bad things are gonna happen if we allow them to screw with us. So that means I'm probably gonna run uh, Archie in and rapid fire this codex from behind. Because I just, I can't. Even though I want to be able to scout where that sectopod is, All in us. I don't know what the fuck that's gonna be about. Uh, so let me get in position that's not burning. Which I think is, I think this is a fine place. Right around the corner and it has a view of the street just in case. And it's flanking the... The Codex. So I can rapid fire it in the face. Hi. Just imagine that's how... Most reveals went. Like, you just pop up directly in front of them. You don't just run down the street and they spot you. No, you... You show up and scare the shit out of them. <laughs> okay. Only the best. Well, I could crit fire the the chick over here. Oh, I'm trying to be because that Andromedon shell form. We don't like that. So what I I want to save Yegor's rapid fire for that form. So we're probably gonna shoot with everybody else. 
We're gonna whittle its health down. We should probably hack the objective. But we have eight turns, so we're, we're gonna chill. We're gonna relax on that. Uh, yay. We're gonna bring you inside the building. Either way, you're gonna fuck up one of these guys. You're either gonna rapid fire the Andromedon or you're gonna rapid fire the Codex. Now, if I run up to this doorway, I could instant kill it. And there's a chance we'll get a free action. If we get that, oh. Oh, this guy's gonna die. Free action? You see that? Come on! Ah, I don't need that, whatever. Finally. Well, this is fine. This is fine. We can handle it. We have a number of people available for this, including Chili, who can annihilate its health without even worrying about his armor. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna move Chilled inside, into full cover, because, again, we don't know what's gonna happen out here. Absolutely. Okay, and Soul Fire. My mind Kill the person inside of it. Kill the organic being inside of it. Hey guys, remember when I didn't read that it only affects organic people? And everybody was like, God, it only affects organics, why can't you read, God? Those were fun times. Um... Do I care about shooting... We'll use Tom. We'll use Tom. This guy's fine. Yes! He got the killing blow! Very good, Tom! Hostile target down! And now we exterminate. With prejudice. Some more? Okay, we're gonna bring... We're gonna bring Archie around the corner of whatever the hell's going on here. Head no. And then we're gonna give some aid protocols to him. So he can really fuck things up. Aid protocol. Archie. And we're gonna hope that he's not within range of this giant swirling vortex of doom. Fucking chrysalids spawning in directly behind me. You know that was good. Oh god, I hope they can't attack in the same turn. <laughs> Look at them surrounding Archie. <laughs> oh Jesus. Hey. Okay. You know, this isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like an avatar spawning behind me. Oh god, three chrysalids is is nothing. I can kill them with ease. Uh, we'll do a rapid fire just in case. And look at that, they have a little defense making a 95. I'm not a fan, not a fan. I wanted 100%. Uh, so they can't dodge. Jesus, double dodging? Are you serious? What a high level- okay, alright. High levels of disappointment are being had. If I maneuver here, I might be able to null lance three of them down. You know what? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna inspire Archie. Or not! Fuck me, right? I was gonna inspire Archie to move, and then void rift the enemies.
I can still Void Rift them. Uh, I don't want to. Because we can use- Void Rift is super useful. And with these enemies dying within the next turn, within this turn, sure we're going to save that. Because if we run into a bunch of Advent Soldiers along with that Sectopod, yeah. There you go! There is no oh, I almost moved it slightly into Archie. <laughs> oh my god! They got so absolutely destroyed? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm happy about that. Uh, Tom! Tom, 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 Tommy Tom. Here, have some free kills, buddy. Moving to position. Why not, right? Your defense means nothing if I'm not rapid firing. <laughs> Here, have a taste of your own medicine. Stun lance to the face! Let's do this! Wow, he dodged it! Okay, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> It doesn't matter, we have a ton of people capable of attacking you, but, alright, it's good. Oh, uh, let me toss a battle scanner over here real quick. <laughs> yeah, alright. We're not hacking the objective. I see what the fuck's going on over there. What are you doing? That can't support your- that can't possibly support your way. Screw you. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to piss off that group sometime. I want a kill zone? So I can shoot all of them, but we'll, we'll just piss them off in the next turn. We'll, we'll start getting prepared for that. Because as soon as I hack, there's a chance- No, there's a 100% guarantee that they can see the gremlin. Just one, one guy, all it takes, one guy to go, <gasps> What the fuck is that? We will go on standby with her. Who else can shoot? A uh, bulldog. Well, we want you to be on standby over here as well. Let's move already. I just want my people to be as close as possible so I don't have to waste too much time when I engage with this group. How about we shoot lightning hands? Oh, we can't lightning hands it. Oh. Fine, we'll snipe ya. We'll snipe ya. But we can go to the rooftop. So that way we have a higher position. <sighs> okay. I probably could have killed them a little bit more efficiently, but oh well. On Overwatch. Who else can move? Ripcord can move up, so I'm gonna go that way. I'm going. No hacking until this group is dead. Now, we don't know if they're gonna move. So far, they haven't wandered down over here. I think they'd have to go... I, don't, I think they'd only have to go like a few tiles before they spot us. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tiles. If they move downward six tiles, they will see us. However, they could also possibly see... Somebody else. Ooh. Not a fan, not a fan. We're gonna grapple hook upwards. Our chances grapple. to hit. If I moved here, we have a potential chance to piss them off. Which I don't want. Which I don't want. Covering now. Okay, we didn't piss them off. We didn't piss them off. That's good. That's good. I just can't see them anymore, but that's that's fine too. So let me let me get another battle scanner on them. And in the very next turn, it's gonna be go time. It's gonna be go time.
Where'd the Sectopod go? Oh, there it is. So if I... Okay, Johnson, if I moved you... here... they wouldn't see you. I don't trust it. But at the same time, I have to. There you go. My you should never trust it. Position. You should never trust it. <laughs> it told me it would only squad sight me, <laughs> which means it wouldn't actually see me. Ah, fuck me. We're going loud, boys. We are going loud. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Funny, if I'd gone here, I probably would have seen that guy in the back. Well... Come on move in. up. We need to get as much damage as possible. We have running gun for a reason. Now, I can shred storm cannon, which is probably a good choice. The decision is where I'm gonna shred storm cannon from. Because I want to hit the sectopod for sure. But I also want to hit the other group in the back, so I'm probably going to do it from the back side, way down. over here. And that should affect these three. Maybe. We'll see. At what the very least, the for? Sectopod. And the Sectopod put itself next to a car, which was a dumb idea. Hey guys, how you doing? Alright. I would really really, really like to hit that guy in the back. Is that a shield there? Hold up. Greetings. Please report any Advanced Preacher. I have no idea what you are, but you have four sh you have four armor, and I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna take out his armor. Gather round. Maybe even straight up kill him. Ah! Wait! Ooh, he's almost dead. Nope, he's gone. There you go. That's one less person for us to have to kill. Oh, boy. This is... not an advantageous scenario. Ooh, we have a 100% chance to hit that guy. Well, that works for us, so I can toss an incendiary. Hey, catch! And then rapid fire the Sucktopod down. So sad, all I wanted to do was kill zone them, it happened again! Who's keeping score? Okay, so... We, uh, our biggest nuisance is the guy in the back. I don't think we have anybody who's capable of shooting that guy. We'll see. Let me see what I can do. Damn it! Come on, I'm trying to get to chilled. Because if I get if I can get chilled up to here, and then he inspires uh, Johnson, we might be able to get a sniper shot off. Not a problem. Okay, we're theory crafting. And by theory crafting, I mean we're actually trying to put this to use. I have a hypothesis. I have to see if it works. Inspire. Hardcore. Together, we are strong. Now, can we snipe this guy chilling out in the back? Yes, we can. Oh, yeah. Good game. <laughs> we win. It's over. X they can't do anything. There might be a guy chilling out in the back, but that's just going to be one Get soldier. Come on, finish reloading, Archie. I just want to move you up. 
No need to ask twice. Whew. All right. I'm happy. I'm happy we have discovered more and more potential of PSYOP soldiers. Being able to move a sniper, inspire them, and then snipe with them anyways? Yeah, Positive glad to have found that out. Area secured. <laughs> oh, we are ridiculously powered up, aren't we? Okay. Well... I might as well find out what I can earn from here for a hack bonus because who knows might be super valuable but I doubt it usually towers don't do anything but we have Double three turns time. so whatevs and maybe they'll send a reinforcement wave and we'll kill them all covering now. To overwatch. On overwatch. Overwatch. I'm Bulldog. I used up all my bullets to kill everything, so I can't use Overwatch, actually. Ready to engage. Aw, the shield's gone. Okay, so shields don't last forever. They last like five turns. Can I see the tower from here? I can handle that. Yes, I can. Good. I don't want to waste, like, too much time trying to do this. Hack, hack, here we go. Integrated comms. Nah. Yeah, see? Comm towers usually give you bonuses that are good for that mission alone. From what I've gathered. Squad gain, squad sight, the two turns, yeah. Well, there's no more enemies around here, so what ifs? Let's see what uh, Tom can see. We have small intel cache and a large intel cache. Well, that's definitely Come and get <laughs> that's stopped. definitely something Conrad's gonna have to hack. Conrad, get all that back over here, buddy. I'm going. Infiltrating access point. I didn't even look at the chances for him. <laughs> I'm just assuming they're gonna be higher. Because he has a skull jack and he has the 20 boost from earlier. Please give me this. Yes! Okay. Good game, Advent. You We're spawned something very scary behind me. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. But I handled it. Good thing I didn't, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I could have not moved up with my sniper. I, I, there was just a gut feeling. I should have followed that gut feeling. I was like, every time I've moved closer and closer to the enemy, something bad happens. And I believe the game for just another second. Like, oh, it only says them, they're going to see me in the squad site. There, which means they're not seeing me at the all. It was bullshit. All right, we got 40 and ton. Nice. That is so solid. That is like possibly two different items from the you intel. Have done an outstanding and then we get the 100 intel, the 110 intel from there. Commander. We got 150 intel from one mission. We're doing well again. Remember when we had like 360 intel earlier in this playthrough? And then that very quickly devolved? <laughs> well, we're good right now. Oh, more assorted loot. Well, did we ever finish? No, we didn't Setting finish building this relay. For sector five in we grab that. We get extra bonuses from here, right? More supplies, which we're not going to use. Okay, I guess we'll make our way over and see what the assorted loot will be. It's also closer to the objectives, or to the black market and the resistance HQ than all the other stuff. So that's the real reason I'm doing it. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Leading the Resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. We will have to do better. Buddy, I just exterminated the hell out of a Sectopod group and everything else. We are fine. We are fine. Okay. Look at this Avatar major breakthrough. Not a fan of that one. Gonna have to counter it soon. That's probably what 
we saw beforehand. Okay, so... It looks like... If you leave supplies out in the open, they just stack. Because it said we got 1,400, but that's 1,600. Hmm. But I wasn't paying attention to the numbers too closely. Ooh, Spear Expanded Mech. I'll accept that. I don't know if anybody has only advanced stuff right now, but if they do, at least we can do something Setting about it. course for the Eastern U.S. Precinct. I do not need your supplies! Welcome, Commander. Oh, uh, what do we got? Ooh, another Grenadier. Why not? <laughs> Why not? If somehow we manage to instantly lose... One of my grenadiers? Well, we got a replacement. Avenger plotting new course. We're so close to the end. We only need the two last abilities of my Psyop soldiers, and then we're gonna push our way towards everything else. Alright, what do we got? Perception and speed. Both very good things. We're gonna grab those immediately. Uh laser sight auto oh, I'm getting the superior auto loader. Because I know we have advanced for most of the people on that one. And we don't really care about the laser sight because we already have tons of those. Well, you don't need to sell. <laughs> Remember when we used to use McBeacons? I miss those days. <laughs> those were nice during those turns where it was like, Oh, I activated three pods! Mimic Beacon. Well, we've moved on. We've evolved. We've passed on through that. Alright. Where can we go now? I will start making contact with New Indonesia. For the Indonesian so we have yet zone. another facility available for us. Did I take out the facility over here? No, I did not. I had like a vague memory. I did take out a facility on this <laughs> over here. Attempting not to too long ago. But my memory's slipping. Contact. That's how Advent's gonna take me out. I'm gonna be like, did I take out that building? I did. And then it turns out it's still there. Yeah, it looks like Fubar is going to be reaching the end of his training first. However, with that said, Chilled has a higher Psy rating for some reason. And let me show you that. So, Fubar has a 95 Psy rating, but Chilled has a 100 Psy rating. And I don't know why that is. <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't know. Also, why does he have hack? What the hell? Is that from the suit? Nope. What the hell? I guess some people just have hack. I guess no, oh, everybody has hack, right? Ah, <sighs> I just thought it was zero. I'm just not. I don't usually hack with people, but I guess yeah, they had to have hack so you can hack objectives when you don't have a specialist. Those poor, poor times where you don't have a specialist. As a massive satellite in the background, which means this is either the worst. Her most not hidden base ever? Or they're just using an observatory for this. Long live the resistance. There you go. So now we can attack both these facilities if things go bad for us. Oh, uh, we can make contact over here. 80. Ooh, yeah. Because we have a radio relay over here in New Chile. <sighs> We're almost, so we almost have every single all place. Of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. We don't even need to make more contacts. We have every single person on the planet. It's going to be sad having my Psy soldiers no longer training up. But it just means we can push on to the end game. Oh no, the Avatar Project, no! Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar Project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Yeah, we'll, we'll get around to it, I guess. But we have other things to deal with. Oh, look. Operation Half-Eaten Saga. With 125 intel, which is the thing I care about most. Alright, so we have a Sectoid Prime Puppeteer. What the fuck? Puppets. Uh, which means zombies, gatekeeper. Alright, let's handle it. Setting course for Western Europe. 